today. It's Lil Mac again here with the Chamber Programs Manager. Today I've got uh, Mr. Philip Hall. That's Philip with one L. One L. One L. <laughs> Let me check my hair real quick. <laughs> right. um, with Farmers Insurance, and you are the owner of that the local branch over there on Walnut Street, right? Correct. Correct. Awesome. We uh, we just opened up seven months ago. Still fresh. Uh, it's still. Uh, Having a blast. It's a honeymoon period right now. So, how long have you been in the, in the insurance industry? Four years. Okay. Four years. I was I was previously in the legal industry oh, really? and uh, realized that I wasn't going to pan out in that. Went straight into insurance, man. That kind of startled us. I hope we didn't know how to wreck. It's what's yeah. what's crazy though. You go straight from being on the legal side, yeah. and then it's a 180. But you see that, I mean, with, with insurance, with that business, I'm sure you see the kind of both sides of it. In, in oh, yeah. Where, where were you, uh, did you practice law anywhere? Or no, 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 no. I did not pass the bar. I did not. I tried. I tried multiple times. So, uh... Are you from around here? Or? Yes. Okay. Born, born and raised okay. uh, in Gadsden, Alabama. Uh, that was one of the sales pitches that, uh, with, with my wife and I, we both wanted to stay in Gadsden. We loved this area. Uh, we, uh, we wanted to raise our family in this area. And so now with three boys, we, uh, we're definitely going to do that. We're here to stay. You've been a member of the chamber. Were you even open before you joined, or were you just you been just open? So um, I just got back from California doing some farmers training, and uh, Kristen ended up uh, answering the phone when I called because I was reaching out to y'all, and because uh, I definitely wanted to be a part of the chamber, and, uh, and she came over there like within an hour, and it worked out great. That's cool. Uh, y'all are fantastic. I love the chamber. He's just a poor boy from a poor family, sparing his life from his monstrosity. Ah, so what all, what's the chamber done for you as far as a business owner? I mean, exposure. 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 I mean, uh, what y'all were able to, to help with the ribbon cutting and with uh with staffing um anytime that i've ever had a question about hey i'm doing this event and i'll end up calling you and i'll say hey can can you end up directing me to a to a certain individual that helps with inflatables or that helps with whatever yeah. that you're able to, to help assist me with that and then like with the staffing you were able to um immediately post that i was looking for um i had a job opening yeah. and um my goodness, I would probably say at least, I'd probably say 80% of the people that respond um, were responding based on the chamber. That's fantastic. That's fantastic. So whether you're looking for a balloon artist or a caricature artist, that's one of the things I felt, <laughs> that's one of the things I felt at. I had some. But I, I, love the, I love the networking aspect to the chamber yeah. too. Uh, being able to go to business after hours uh, or business and gravy and uh, networking with other individuals. Um, it's phenomenal. Yeah, it's it's amazing that people do business with people. So oh, yeah, you get out there and talk to people, and if they like to do business with you. It's amazing. I mean, I've, I've never I never realized how important that aspect of it is, but it's crazy how it works, though. It's funny. A lot of times, I end up um, having some type of appointment or lunch mm -hmm. appointment with someone who is a part of the chamber yeah. uh, on a, on a Tuesday. And that's when I always ask, you know, hey, you going, you going tonight? You going tonight? <laughs> so, uh, and then I always make sure to, to be able to, to speak with them and hang out with them. And uh, you can't, you can't not love the fact that you can also get prizes at these events too. I know. We're all kinds of, where's the hoot and the half? <laughs> 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 this goes back to my band days. Band days, were you in a band? Oh yeah, in a band, yeah. yeah. We were in a local band. Best days with Mary Jane. One more time to kill the band. I feel somewhere creeping in. I'm tired of this town again. So 
back back uh, all the way dating back to when we were 15 years old wow there was basically a solid trio uh, but we've always had different different members to come in and out but we've been playing since we were 15 so cool when we were like juniors going to Birmingham playing in different bars wow. and uh, because our drummer at the time was over the age of 21 yeah so it ended up working out and we thought we were the coolest thing ever and uh, and then when we got into college continued to play there was another uh, group of guys a group of friends that were playing another band so we'd always play with each other and um, and then moving back here we were regulars over at Blackstone yes. so we played a lot of Tom Petty and oh, yeah. played a lot of the uh, the typical bar music the, what I love about my job is that while I'm working quotes, while I'm calling customers, while I'm handling claims, I got music going on yeah. the entire time. And it's hilarious because whoever comes into my office, you can go from me listening to jazz music, which the only reason why I do that, I don't know if you've ever watched a show called Bosch. Uh, he listens to jazz all the time. It's a, det it's a detective show. And, uh, but from jazz music, I'll listen. I'll listen to some contemporary Christian. I'll listen to some country. I'll do some outlaw country. Uh, you know, it's just, it varies. The This is Will signing off with Philip Hall, State Farm. No. Oh, oh, oh. oh. Hey. Farmers Insurance. Philip Hall, Farmers Insurance, 256-646-6163 for all your insurance needs.